<laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Lisa Flynn, I've just flown in. And today we're back for more Origins and more Codexes, because I'm sure by now everyone's so not tired of them. Yay, but we're in the home stretch, people. We only have one more to read. Well, one more than I'm going to read, because I'm not going to read controls or spell combinations. And that is characters. Or do I? I mean, I'm only... No, I have read other characters before. Hmm. 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 Yeah, might as well. Queen Enora. We have been given the gift of freedom by our forebears. Let us not squander it. The only child of the war hero Loghain Maktir, Enora has never been one to stay quietly in the background. It is common knowledge that in the five years Enora and Kaelin had the throne together, she was the one wielding the power. She is held in much higher esteem than her husband by the people of Ferelden, nobility and commoners alike, and commands the respect even of foreign nations, having once inspired Empress Selene of Orlais to declare, Enora of Ferelden is a solitary rose amongst brambles. Yeah, she's an interesting character. Who we will maybe one day meet, or maybe not, I don't know. There's a blight on. Weird things happen. Dog meat. General puppy. The Mabari is clever enough to speak, and wise enough to know not to. Ferelden proverb. I agree. Although, actually, he does not speak. We, we totally did that trick the other day. It just It just happened off camera, but it totes happened, you know? <laughs> anyway. Uruka found this Mabari in the camp at Orstegar. His master was killed in the wilds, and Dogmeat fell ill from biting the darkspawn in battle. Oh, poor puppy. Uh, I mean, clearly he got better. But, you know, he's gonna bite more darkspawn. Just saying. It's gonna happen. Dogmeat seems to have chosen Uruka as his new master now. Seeing Uruka out after the battle at Orstegar and warning of an impending darkspawn attack. Yay, because he's a cool puppy. He does awesome things. Al Emin Gurin. Nobility does not exist without obligation. We owe all we have, even our lives, to our land and our people. As the maternal uncle of King Kaelin, Al Emin is one of the king's most trusted advisors. Yay! Radcliffe, while not a large or especially wealthy part of Ferelden, is a critical strategic location. The fortress guards the western pass that leads to Orlais, as well as the major trade route with Orzammar. A well-respected man, though not the most charismatic, King Kellen once said of him, My uncle Eomin is a man without... Man, everyone thinks well of. When they remember to think of him at all. He fell ill of a mysterious condition that magic could not treat. Really? You don't say. Hmm. Knight Commander Gregor. It is the innocent folk of Ferelden who matter. I would lay down my life and the life of any mage to protect them. Grim and Takatun, Gregor has the Knight Commander of the Templar forces stationed at the Circle Tower for so many years that hardly anyone expects the first enchanter recalls that he is not simply part of the tower itself. Yeah, he, he's been there a while. It's his job, you know? Like, you really can't see him doing anything else. All Rendon How. It appears will be civil war after all, despite the darkspawn. Pity. Yeah, I bet he's so heartbroken about this. The Arling of Amaranthrine winds along the sinuous northern eastern northeastern, I know words are pronounced, coast of Ferelden. The waking sea is known for its temper and for storms that sweep in from the warmer northern waters are sudden and brutal. These are the lands of Rindin Howe. So they match its owner. Cool. He was born during the occupation, and like many of the nobles at the time, joined Prince Merrick's rebels. Woo! Rebel! He fought alongside young Bryce Kuzlin, future Tyrion of Hever. Hi, Ever. Ah, uh, I know these places. Uh, and Leonas Bryland, future Earl of Southreach, at the bloody Battle of White River. 
Bet the river wasn't so wide afterward. Teehee. It was the most catastrophic defeat the entire occupation, which only 50 rebel soldiers escaped alive. <laughs> he tried. Although he was decorated for valor by King Merrick, Hal's abrasive manner has earned him almost universal dislike amongst his peers. You know, not the torture or the other bad things he does. You know, it's just his bad personality. Anyway, moving on. First Enchanter Irving. Yay, that guy's cool. The circle will go on and we will learn from this tragedy and be strengthened by it. There is no higher office in the Circle Tower than that of the First Enchanter. The one who holds this title must not only be able administrator, but also a mentor, leader, and surrogate parent to all mages of the Tower. Irving has proven himself to be all these things, with an added dose of cunning. Yay, cunning. It means he can pick locks. Most apprentices know that little goes on in the Tower that Irving does not know. <laughs> yeah. He can soothe Templars angered by some childish magical prank at the same time that he lauds the prankster, and everyone walks away satisfied. Yay! See, that's being good at your job. Although much of the circle was destroyed by Uldred's abominations, Irving survived and plans to rebuild what he can. Yeah, good thing we saved that guy. We did a good thing. Yay! Liliana. <gasps> My shoe sister! In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the maker. A lay sister of the Chantry who can beat the stuffing out of trained mercenaries would be notable enough. It really is, actually. But one who also claims to have sent, been sent to fight the Darkspawn with the maker himself is, um, unusual to say the least. <laughs> to put it mildly. She joined Alistair and Urika in Lothering, insisting she would prove useful. And she has. Just, I'm a better rogue. And she's already taught me bard skill. Yay! There's more to Liliana than had ever been apparent in Lothering, however. She spent much of her life as a bard no lay, a minstrel, assassin, and spy employed by the nobles of Varayo in their elaborate games of intrigue. Liliana takes care to honor the Lothering Chantry cloister that took her in and keeps symbol of Andraste's blessing close to her heart. Not because it was a gift from Ulrika, per se, but, you know. Just saying, it might be other reasons. It's close to her heart, as they say. <laughs> Zeverin and Arian. The Kroos and the Grid send their gods. Ah, I almost had that right. <laughs> almost. Between the Twinter Imperium, Ravani, and the Free Marches sits the nation of Antiva. Although it possesses few resources of its own, Antivan's location makes it a center for trade in the north, and the capital, Antiva City, cleverly named by the way, is the wealthiest in the world. Antiva has virtually no army. <laughs> well, they have, other th they have other means. The monarchy is too weak to support one. Most Antivans would be hard-pressed to even name the current king, as the true power lies in the hands of a dozen merchant princes. Yay! No! Each with personal army, and each locked in a constant struggle for power against all others. Because that can only end in good. I hope we get to Antiva one day. I want to see this. Even just one of the novels, really. Anyone would think, then, that Antiva would be a right target for invasion by one of her neighbors, but even the Canari leave Antiva alone, for one very good reason, the House of Crows. The most efficient, most feared, and most expensive guild of assassins in the world calls Antiva their home, and the reputation alone defends the borders. Yeah, <laughs> Let, let's leave the crazy assassin people alone. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. And speaking of crazy people, Loghain Mactir. Understand this. I will broke no threat to this nation from you or anyone. He's a cheery sort, isn't he? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Mm. 
Loghain was born a farmer during a time when his country was under foreign occupation. When he was still a boy, he joined the resistance, where his considerable tactical genius quickly became apparent. I read the novels, this is very true. He became close friends with Prince Merrick, also true. The last true heir of to the Ferelden throne, and together they led the rebels to drive out the forces of the Orlesian Empire. Among other things, Merrick raised his friend the nobility, and Loghain is now more of a symbol than a man. He represents the Freldin ideals of hard work and independence. It's just a shame we don't get to see that in game. But seriously, go read The Stolen Throne if you have not. It's a brilliant novel. During the battle at Ostagar, he fled the field, leaving King Callan and the Grey Wardens to die. Also, boo! He then returned to Denrim and declared himself the regent with his daughter, Queen Enora, demanding that Freldin follow him against the Darkspawn setting a great many of the bands. Ha ha ha, you think? Yeah, not, not his best move. He, he was not a political genius, but he was a battlefield genius, and know your role. Anyway, this action sparked a civil war. Well, good. I mean, you know, we, we kind of a blight we should be dealing with, but... Eh. Loghain's supporters found themselves fighting their neighbors, who blamed Loghain for the death of the king, as well as those who simply wished to take advantage of the power vacuum. Yeah, he, he had good intentions with this plan of his, just, um... No. Just no. Okay, Morrigan. Witch of the Wilds? Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no mind of your own? Of herself, Morgan says little. Oh, no, she, she said quite a bit. I, I, I've been having chats with her. She does not deny being a witch of the wilds. But beyond that, everything about her is, a que is in question. Eh, I don't know. She, I kind of believe her story about running as a wolf. Her mother claims to be Flemeth. If that's true, uh, the Morgan might very well be a powerful witch. Ha <laughs> ha, True. Even if Flemeth were not in the equation. For the tales of the daughters of Flemeth tell of twisted, monstrous women who, call, who can kill a man with fear. Uh, I'm pretty sure she could. I'm, uh, she's going to have a lot of entropy magic. She was made to accompany the surviving Grey Wardens. The payment, Flemeth said, for saving their lives with the Tower of a Shawl. Morgan's critical eye is not reserved solely for others. Knowing or not, she has simple fondness for jewelry and is very particular about her appearance. Well, can you blame her? I mean, she is uber pretty. You know? Just saying. Stem. Either you have an enviable memory or a pitiable, pitiable life to know nothing of regret. Eh, yeah, that's actually very true. The northern islands are remote, lush jungles, that harbor city is rumored to be most extraordinary ever built. These are the lands of the Canari, lands that no foreign eye has ever seen. Only the stories of the three exalted marches waged against the giants have reached the south, until the arrival of Sten. The stoic giant in the cage was surely the strangest thing the people Lothering had ever seen, until the blight struck. Ha ha ha, yeah. And now he hangs with me. Yay! <gasps> Tigon! Ban Tigon Garin. The Banarn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Younger brother to Arl Eamon of Redcliffe, and uncle of King Callan, Tigon holds the Baron. Banarn? I know how to say words. Of Reynas Ferry. A tiny province of Redcliffe squeezed between the Frostback Mountains and Lake Calahad. Ban Tegan avoids the Denrim court except to go hunting for his nephew, and rarely makes himself heard at the land's meet, preferring to leave politics to his brother. A and that's kind of a smart move, because, yeah. Realm politics, no cool. No. Mm -mm. And, yay, we did it! We finished the codexes! It only took three sessions! Woo! Yes! I did something! Yay! We did it, guys! We read through them! Now I need to go sell some stuff. And do some things. 
Hey, you. If there's anything I can do for you, yes. please, please tell me. Well, I'm talking to you, so let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And yes. with your discount. Yes, gimme. What do I need? Actually, can I equip anything? Because we, we've gone up a few levels. You never know. Ooh, the bow. What bow do I currently have? Oh, you're getting that then. Let's turn around, get a look at that. It's pretty. It's quite pretty. Yes. Ulrika, I'm digging this for you. Let's see what you got, dagger-wise. Eh, no. Oh, can I equip you, you beautiful thing? Yes, I can. <laughs> I am more deadly. Yes, I like this. This is good. Hey, Lil, what you got? Okay, you're... I actually have a better bow for you. Eh, not that much of a cosmetic difference. What do your daggers look like? No. That's actually better. Oh, she can't equip it yet. Eh, she has that. That's nothing. That's nothing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Moving on. Dog meat. Make sure you expand your armor, wouldn't it? Now I've got nothing for you. Win. Actually, I know I already sold off the staffs. But what about this? Yeah, that's better. better. Yeah, I think I'm cool with this arrangement. Alistair. Yeah, I'm cool with what you got, because you're not quite where I need you for these. What about your bow? Okay, your bow's actually really good. What about you, Stan? What can you do? Okay, you can't have any of the cool ones yet. What about your bow? What bow do you got? Oh, you got cold bolts. Ooh, that's actually a little better. Cool. Good for you. Awesome. Okay, Morgan, what about you? Nope, but you got better. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Let's... Yeah. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good yes, to have you are. along on the road. I know. Stuff. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy yes, and yes, I collect. Yes, yes, I don't care. And Open your top. Your Let's go. Selfie has things to do and stuff to say. Beastmaster I'm keeping, enchanted dagger I'm keeping. You I can sell. You I can sell. You, you I can sell. These I'm holding on to for right now. Those I'm holding on to. Right, I actually still need to check armor on people. Sorry, this is going to be something of a maintenance episode. Or I could. Pause and come back. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. One moment, people. And we're back. I've shifted around some armor. Orica now has the battle dress of the Provocatoris, as she should have all along. Liliana now has some new armor as well. Alistair is now sporting the Templar armor. Sten has some new armor. Morgan has a new hat. Yeah, good times. Okay, so... Hmm. I'm actually going to go troll the world map for a few minutes because I'm trying to kick off an event. But rather than having you watch the world map go back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, I will probably just cut to when I eventually get the event to trigger. So, see you in a little bit again. <laughs> walking, walking, walking... Trying to trigger an event. And here we go, folks. We got it right off the bat, maybe. Traveler. Okay, this does look promising. Just let me save real quick. In case this is what I think it is. Saving game. Summon your wolf. You're cool. You're fine. Ugh. Why does her tray keep changing? Summon your rock armor. Let's 
get some buffs up. Immediately. Well, what can you do? Get your bardic song on. Get your bow out. You're on your staff. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Here we go. Oh, you took me out of my stealth. Oh, thank the maker. Hello. We need help. Really? Attack the wagon, please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. Okay. Yay! We're good guys. We follow blindly. By that I mean, no, we don't. I'll just, you know, just pick some things along the way. Because this isn't at all suspicious. At all. Wait, Lillian doesn't have stealth? Wow. I keep forgetting I there's some powers I should take for her. Okay. Guys? Come on. Because it dawns on me, I don't remember if this is a map you can get separated from me on if I have you back too far. What is that? A trap? <gasps> Where? Over there? That's a long way to go. You guys stay put. I'm gonna go take care of this. Because I'm a good rogue. In theory. It is some kind of trap. <gasps> Not for long. If I can get the mouse to detect it. What is that? A trap? Oh, but I was detecting traps. Hey, wait, what? Hmm. Girls, this is not good. Or is it? Hmm. Hello. <laughs> oh, and you brought friends. A lot of friends. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Well. The Grey Warden dies here. No, she doesn't. Dude, he's ahead. You have no friggin' clue. Oh, and you're a mage? You're going down first. You pin him. You freeze him. You charge him. Wolfie is on the wrong side of the bleeping tree. If you can get over here, bite him. If not, I'm gonna have to desummon you. Go team! Die! Wait, is he down already? Yes! All the yes. Now to get over there and go out my friends. And guys, feel free to move. Win. Help Lel. Actually, where's my wolf? My wolf is still trapped. Oh, puppy. You are so stupid. Bad wolf. Where now? Howl. Good boy. What a guy. Yeah, everyone on that guy. By my on that guy. Die. Uh, on this yeah. guy. Uh, on this guy. Uh, GG team. Uh, GG. Take that. Take that. I am more than aware of the archers hitting us, but I'm just saying. We got shit to do. You know, priorities. The letter. <gasps> Friends of the Red Jenny. I know the Red Jennies. Kind of, sorta. Ish. You can't do anything. You get on your staff. You get on your bow. And shoot the guy. Ah! Oh. Uh. GG team. Uh. Now, get back on my location. What? Puppy? General. Map. It's really the map. There. And then, full position. What it go? Go and do some traps. After you get out of your own. It is some kind of trap. Yeah, yeah it what is. is that? Uh, 
Could double. As you say. It is some kind of trap. Let's end this. Hey, you look a lot like my friend. But soon you'll be dead. Elvis assassin is wounded and conscious, but alive. You could tie him up and talk to him, if you wished. Oh, now you're over here, wolf. Really? You know what? Let's wake him up. I want to have a chat. Sup, buddy? Mm. Oh, what? We didn't do a very I... good job tying him up. Oh. I don't see any rope oh. at all. I rather thought I would wake up dead. Or really? not wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet. Yeah, I know. I have some questions. Ah, so I am to be interrogated. Yep. Let me save you some time. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens. Really? Which I have failed at, sadly. Yep. Yes, you did. Um, also, why are you telling me all this? Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Yeah, not give that you I that. offered it for sale, precisely. Aren't you the least bit loyal to your employers? Loyalty is an interesting concept. If it you is. wish, and you're done interrogating me, yeah, we can maybe. discuss it further. I'm not done questioning you yet. Very well. Ask, and thou shalt receive. Really? Hmm. True. What are the Antiven Crows? Even though I just kind of read a codex about it. I can tell you that. Yay! They are an order of assassins out of Antiva. Very powerful and renowned for always getting the job done, so to speak. <laughs> Someone yeah. went to great expense to hire Except this for man. this guy. Quite right. I'm surprised you haven't heard much of the Crows out here. Back where I'm I come from. I'm from Orzammar. We have the Carta. You came all the way from Antiva. Actually, no. You know, uh, who hired you to kill us? A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Ah. Uh, yes, that's yeah, it. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh, goody. When were you to see him next? I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the crows would have informed your Logan of the results. Ah. If he didn't already know. If okay. I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the crows are concerned. Eh, I'll give you Don't that. Need to see Logan, then. Yeah, true. If you had failed? What can I say, huh? I am an eternal optimist. You know, right? Although the chances of succeeding at this point seem a bit slim, don't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> no. no, I don't suppose you'd find that funny. Oh, I find it very funny. But anyway, we have some stuff we're still discussing. Does that mean you're loyal to Logain? I have no idea what his issues are with you. Really? The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Yeah. Beyond that, much. no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. Cool. And how much were you paid for this? I wasn't paid anything. The crows, however, were paid quite handsomely, or so I understand. Ah. Which does make me about as poor as a chantry mouse, come to think of it. Being an mm. Antivan crow isn't for the ambitious, to be perfectly honest. True. Then why are you one? Well, aside from a distinct lack of ambition, I suppose it's because I wasn't given much of a choice. Oh. The crows bought me young. I was a oh. bargain, too, or so I'm led to believe. Well, but don't let my sad know. story influence you. The crows oh, aren't so bad. They keep one well supplied. Wine, women, men. Whatever huh. you happen to fancy. Okay. Though the whole severance package is garbage, let me tell yeah. you. If you're considering joining, I really no. think twice about it. I mean, I'm a dwarf. I'm going to join anything. I'm going to join the Carta. Thanks. I'll take that under advisement. You seem like a bright girl. Thank you. I'm sure you have other options. I'm also a princess. And a kleptomaniac. 
I want to know more, but I guess I guess the dialogue tree is not gonna let me ask more. Then, unless you're quite stuck on cutting my throat, hey, I never saw I want to cut your throat. Perhaps you'd care to hear a proposal. Oh, really? A proposal? I mean, I, I think the human Alistair guy. I think he already proposed to me the other night. So, talk, but I'm watching you closely. Well, here's wink, the thing. Wink, wink. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. Cool. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Okay. The thing is, cool. I like living. I and do you too. You obviously are the sort to give the crows pause, so let me serve you instead. Uh huh. What do you want in return? Well, let's see. Being allowed to live would be nice and yeah. would make me marginally more useful to you. True. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, Never then happened. I go on my way. Until really? then, I am yours. Is that fair? You're mine. What's to stop you from finishing the job later? To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the Crows. Hmm. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. Ah. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Ah. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Okay. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. <laughs> really? You really don't know who I am, do you? Why won't they come after you? Or won't they come after you? Self continues proving she doesn't know how to read. Possibly. Hmm. I happen to know their wily ways, however. Wily I can say. protect myself as well as you. Uh, not that you seem to need much help. Nah. And if we're not, cool. well, it's not as if I had many alternatives to start with, is Aww. it? Why would I want your service? I mean, I kind of just kicked your ass. Why? Because I am skilled at many things, from fighting really? to stealth and picking locks. Ooh, I like I those things. I could also warn you should the Antivan crows attempt something more sophisticated now that my attempts have failed. Hmm. I could also stand around and look pretty if oh, I prefer. Oh, I like that talent. Um, bed. Fend off um, unwanted suitors, I, I have no? a human for that. Oh. Is this before after you stab me in the back? These things you say. They must drive the men back home simply wild. They did. So what shall it be? I'll even shine armor. You won't find a better deal, I promise. Can I expect the same amount of loyalty from you? I happen to be a very loyal person. Do you Up know? until the point where someone expects me to die for failing, hmm. that's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless no, you're the sort not. who would do the same thing, in which case I don't <laughs> come very well recommended, I suppose. Well, that's true. I mean, I mean, we got a canary out of a cage that killed people, and... We got a Chantry sister that kills people, and we got a Witch of the Wilds apostate, and, you know, we're really not picky. We're really not. Very well. I accept your offer. Welcome, Zevran. Having an Antivan crow join us sounds like a fine plan. It does. Oh, you are another companion to be, then? Hey! I wasn't aware such loveliness existed hey. amongst adventurers, surely. Or maybe not. Good girl. Let's I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. Cool. I am your man, without reservation. Yes, this, you are. I swear. Good boy. Welcome aboard. Yay, we have a new friend. Lil. Bye bye. You yes. get in here. Hey there. Aw, she approved by two. I got two coins. Yay. Good times. True. I'm gonna loot the corpses of your comrades, and we're gonna call it a day. Cause it's been a good day, you know? We kick some ass, I disarm some traps, and my- Okay, my teammates are staying put. Good. Cause that can go very bad. Very, very bad. Cause the AI is sometimes not the smartest, and that they will just randomly start of running course. after you. And then they will trigger every single trap they come across, and that's not good. Run back around. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Here we go. Hey, puppies. Bye, puppies. Running some more. I could have sworn there were more traps up here. Unless we really messed that up and we triggered them all. Which is very possible. Okay. I think we got everything. I'm just gonna go talk to Dogmeat real quick. Get a clean buff. 
Aw, oh, good boy. I know. All excited barking. Yes. See anything interesting? Aw, you didn't find anything. But you tried. That's all I care about. You're a good boy, General. Also, um, yeah, can you clean me? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a messy baby right now. Uh, can you just think about this gory mess? Good boy. Happy bark indeed. Okay. Good times. I actually, I got everything done I wanted to get done. I got Severin. Yeah. It's gonna be a good day. Okay. So, I think actually, before I go too much farther, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video, because we've been going for a bit. But, you know, we got some stuff done. Go us. Woo! So, until next, tack legatelok hedo. Ha <laughs>